Hello all, greetings from the allotment. Um, it's going to be another short uh, visit today, but uh, what I've set my mind on is to try and clear some of this old dead wood from the loganberries. So I'm, what I'm going to do is just try, I'm just going to cut some out, um, gradually pull it apart, and then uh, transport it to a place where I'm holding it for to eventually burn. Right, I was going to wear gloves. You know what? Just don't. I don't always feel happy. Um, I don't know. I, I like to be able to feel. Save that. Those. I'm going to have to do, be gentle with these, so I'm just going to cut bits out at a time. It's amazing just how much dust is in here, you know. I mean, we did have quite a lot of rain last night. And, uh, I just wouldn't not know. Looking at this, you know, it's not going to be a five minute job post. Far from it. So all I'm doing is I'm taking out the really brittle brown wood. I'm putting it down to close to ground level. Obviously, as we get through more, I'll be able to clearly uh, separate the good from the bad, but at the moment it's, uh, it's very difficult to prise it all apart. And it's quite warm in this sun. See, we've got some bindweed down here, folks. Nasty stuff. I don't want that going in the compost bin, so that, that can actually go in its own separate little pile. I'll bag that up. Right, I'm going to crack on for a bit and I'll, I'll put the video back on in a little while. Okay folks, you can see I've stripped loads out and now it's just a matter of uh, trying to uh, manoeuvre everything 
around the existing wire that I've got here. So I've got, I've got kind of, well, I suppose some of it's broke, but there, there was three strands of wire going across. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just, the existing, um, the new rope, I'm just tying back to this wire, just to hold them back in again. So all I've done is, from the garden centre, you get this um, garden twine. It's got like a metal strand through it. And um, I've just cut a few pieces off. But I've also got a load of these round um, rings left, which I can use. Um, these particular stems here um, are the kind of the main growth and they need that bit more strength. They don't, I don't want them coming away. So that's the reason why that I am making sure they're all in place so they don't, oh, so they don't fall out next year. Fall out. I'm getting all my words mixed up, folks. What I mean is, if we can get these all nicely tied in, when they start all growing next year, even more, um, they're not going to fall away. It's, it's going to remain upright. I'm leaving plenty of space for, for the stems to grow, so there's nothing going to be holding them back. That's starting to look more like how I want it. I'm going to get a few more of these pieces of wire cut because I want, to, as I say, I want them to remain nice and firm against this wire. Now, I have got these rings, but as you can see, they expand. And so, if there's a lot of wind in that, they could theoretically uh, pull apart and the stems will pull, pull away from this wire what I've got across here. Okay folks, the main stems now have been tied to the wire. Now we've got some new stems here with some terrific growth on. Now what I need to do, I need to thread these now. So I need to tie these back to the wire. Um, I've actually got run out of wire so I'm going to use some of these rings now. So what we're doing is we're basically either fixing them to the wire or to existing stems which have been tied back. And the idea is that we wind them back on themselves like so. <coughs> So we can get different tiers of raspberries for next year. Not just all at the top. Now obviously you need to uh, you need to you need to tie these back because they're gonna suffer from quite a lot of wind damage. Um, autumn winds so we need to be uh, kept safe You 
it may seem like an easier method using these, but I still prefer to use some wire because at least the wire won't come apart. Yes, he does. That one's broke, so that's, I can't use that one. Right. I'm going to go around the other side of mine. Yeah, that one's broke as well, folks. It's, uh, that's the problem when you, you're trying to prise the old wood off and you do damage some of the new ones. So you have to try and be careful if you can. I hope you can hear me okay, but you've got to be really careful when you're bending these because they're brittle. This time of the year, well even any time of the year, they can snap so easily. So I've, I've lost one or two potential branches there. I'm hoping I've got uh, more than enough to cope with what, uh, what I require. I'm over here now, folks. Right. Gonna have to cut some more. Um, some more. Gonna have to find some more of those rings because I've uh, 
basically uh, I can use them all. <laughs> See some on the floor. See me, okay? Okay folks, well, what I can tell you is I've got a couple of new um, Loganberry bushes uh, here. They've, uh, they've obviously, I've obviously uh, chopped them off at some point by uh, screaming or whatever and uh, they've rooted. some more okay I'm not going to bore you anymore with this project but I'm hoping you can get the idea of what I've just done I've cut all that old wood out I've um, I've tied the main stems to the wire then I've gone uh, gone horizontally to try and feed the branches around um, allowing for the fruit when it's fruit forms that we're going to get different tiers not just all along the top it's not as turned out as well as previous years because I've snapped one or two of those um, stems off by mistake. Um, but between this and this one over here, I'm pretty sure that we'll do okay because there'll be a lot of new growth from this 
during the spring. Um, so I'm quite confident. Finally folks, this is, uh, it's all been uh, pruned back now. I think you can see from previous pictures and videos over the past week or two that uh, it's looking a lot uh, greener, look, looking a uh, lot less dead and it's all ready now for next year's growth. I would have liked to have had more um, stems out on the left hand side but unfortunately I broke one or two so they do become brittle when you're trying to bend them and that uh, but it's going to be all right we've uh, we've got it we've got probably more than what we did have last year so these will all um, broaden out in the spring and it will look a, it will look a lot better so I'm quite pleased with uh, with the outcome okay well thanks for watching today's video as always um, please like follow uh, don't forget to check out my Facebook pages for both my I've got a page for my um, for my personal page for my allotment. I've got the group Growing with Julie, uh, Polytunnel Growing. That's another group, and um, and then I've also got uh, Julie Drake Artist as a page on Facebook. Okay, thanks for watching.